So um, uh, the access point will instruct the corresponding node uh, to set its uh, congestion window. So if I tell you you can you have to wait, uh, or you um, you can send zero packets before acknowledgement, then the logical interpretation of that is that you can't send packets at all. So once uh, a window size is set to zero, um, there's a special name for that. A TCP connection with a window size of zero is said to be in persistent mode. In other words, the connection is still valid, the connection still exists, but no packets are being sent. The TCP connection is alive, but no packets are sent. So the resolution is the access point sees the mobile node again, and it could be, in my uh, office example, it could be a new access point, it could be an entirely new access point, so either the old AP or a new one. Window size is reset to its old value. How does a new AP learn about the TCP connection? Um, good question. So, I mean, presumably all of the nodes will agree that they're using mobile TCP. So uh, as soon as um, as soon as the mobile node enters the domain of the new access point, um, there's got to be some kind of control message that's exchanged saying I, I have a I have a I have a connection, or maybe uh, maybe the uh, I mean the uh, the mobile uh, might start sending acknowledgement packets or something in the access point. Um, uh, when, it, when it sends the control message, when the AP sends the message to set the window size to zero and set it back again, is it masquerading as the mobile node to, to the corresponding node? I assume it has to pretend it's the other end of the conversation. Yes. Um, so that's a good question. Uh, what I don't know is whether intermediate nodes can also, uh, intermediate nodes and link can also send it. So um, it could be. Uh, I'm, I'll, I'll get back to it. Uh, uh, the other thing was, um, no, I forgot. Forget. Okay. <laughs> um, you just want to time out for this. Uh, there's got to be. So I mean, the timeout is over here. Uh, the, the wait for several acknowledgments. Um, so I guess you're saying, is there a timeout in persistent mode until the connection <laughs> error is dropped? There must be. There must be. There must be a way to. Uh, I mean, if the if the device actually does disconnect and stays off for hours, there's got to be a way to, to cancel that connection. Uh, but I would assume that's a fairly long time. Yes. So as far as the corresponding node is concerned, this is all standard TCP. Yeah. Um, it doesn't have to have any special configuration. The window size zero thing is actually. That's a, something that's that's, that's something in TCP. Yeah, that's, that's part of the standard. Uh, so CN, does CN have a timeout as well? That, you know, if, so say you switch off your mobile and then uh, AP crashes, so there is no communication set to, uh, to use the size to zero. Right. Does that have another timeout to say I'm setting back if I'm not using the S? I would expect so. In fact, it might even be a higher level timeout. Like uh, um, application layer stuff has timeouts. So uh, some 
uh, at some point there would be there would be some kind of timeout that would say let's just drop the connection and forget about it. So yeah. Um, what you'll also notice about this is that it's compatible with let's say snooping TCP. So you could, if you want, run mobile TCP at the same time as, as, as snooping TCP. So what would that mean? Basically, if intermittent packets are dropped, um, they are replenished from the snooping TCP buffer. But if lots of packets are dropped in a row, uh, mobile TCP takes over and sets persistent mode and waits for the waits for the connection to come back. Okay, any questions on that? So broadly speaking, we've come to the end of our discussion of mobile um, transport layer. Uh, I just want to take a couple of seconds to uh, say what's coming next. So we, we've um, We've completed our walk up the network stack, so we're not going any higher than the transport layer because nothing significant changes when you go to wireless above the transport layer. Um, the rest of uh, for the remaining approximately month that we have together, um, we're going to do mostly applications. So, um, in, in particular, if you've been following the course schedule, you'll notice that we're about a week ahead of schedule, so that's great. That basically means we'll I'll probably take that week and add it to um, probably add it to uh, uh, wire, uh, sensor and ad hoc networks. So we'll, we'll, we'll do a little bit of extra talking about sensor and ad hoc networks. Um, so, so yeah, the, basically everything we're going to talk about from now on is applications, with one exception. Next time, um, we're going to do. We're just going to finish off. We're going to complete our discussion here by adding a little bit of analysis, much like we did. We added a little bit of analysis to, uh, to mobile IP. Any other questions? Okay, see you on Tuesday.